The third stop on our year trip is Kosrai, Micronesia. To get to this isolated island, which is 200 kilometers away from any other landmass, we first had to fly from Tokyo to Guam. We then boarded a plane on the island hopper route and stopped at Chuuk, Ponape, and finally Kashai, with each leg of the flight lasting about an hour. Pompe is the largest of the islands of the FSM, and Kazrai is three times smaller, but Chuuk is the smallest of them all. From the air, we saw the Atoll Island of Chuuk, that is known for its shipwreck diving. Atolls are formed when volcanoes collapse on themselves and leave a ring of reef formed islands around it. We could tell the age of the islands from the plain. Chuuk is probably the oldest because it is an already formed atoll. Pompeii is the second oldest because you can see a ring of reef separating from the island. Lastly, Kosrai is the youngest with a small reef which blocks the waves from coming into the beach. The country, Federated States of Micronesia, is made up of four states, Kashai, Yap, Chuuk, and Ponape. FSM is geopolitically important because of its central location in the Pacific Ocean. It is in between powerful countries such as Japan, China, the US, and Australia. Many governments want to build strong relationships with the FSM because they can serve as key refueling stops for both trade and military transportations. This vital role was proven during World War II as the Japanese and American Navy fought bloody battles on the various islands in the region. Today, we can still see a lot of Chinese, Japanese, and American influences. There are many construction projects completed by the Chinese with showy names such as Chinese Kosrai Friendship Gym. Japanese products are also abundantly imported to as small as snacks and as big as cars. But American culture is probably the most dominant since the island uses the US dollar, watches US TV shows, and English is the second most spoken language behind their native language, Khazrayan. This 111 kilometers squared island is located five degrees north of the equator, so it's even warmer than Hawaii. Khazray is known as the island of the sleeping lady, as you can clearly see. These mountains created the microclimate that made Khazray what it is. Because of the steep terrain, most of the islanders live by the coast. The mountain catches the passing rain clouds, and let me tell you, it rains. There are two sides of the island, the rainy side and the rainier side. We are on the rainy side. Since the trade wind is from the northeast, the east side of the island gets the most rain. All this rain and warmth makes plants on this island grow really fast. And the volcanic soil and height provided by the mountains allows greater plant varieties than an atoll island. Here are a few of the new plants that we learn to use. One is the shampoo ginger lily. When you squeeze the flower, a gooey nectar comes out of its scales and is really good for your skin and hair. It was originally used for skin diseases and intestinal worms, but now it's a more of a natural shampoo. Another native plant is a leaf we call crinkle leaf. When marinated in isopropanol, it makes a super medicinal liquid to treat cuts and wounds. It stings like crazy though, but it will heal you much faster than normal. The geography of this island forms some amazing landmarks 
and the geopolitical location shaped the Khazarian lifestyle into the way it is now. I will explain more about them in future episodes, so stay tuned!